here at AirVenture 2011. Thanks for joining us here at the Brown Arch, very uh, steeped in history. And I uh, have some special announcements today. And to start things off, I'd like to introduce EA Chairman and longtime AirVenture Chairman, Tom Oberesny. Tom? You're probably wondering why I asked you to come here today. And I'll tell you why or what and why, and we'll talk about it a little bit. I asked you to come here today because I'm announcing my retirement, and now I'm going to tell you why. You know, in life, there's one letter that can be your failure, and two letters that can be your success. What's the one letter? I. Antique ultralights like I used the two letters are W E. We. What's that say about you, Frank? So when I talk here today, <laughs> I want to talk about we, not I. I'm a person. Yes, obviously, I'm the center of this yes, announcement. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about we. Well, something I learned a long time ago. Why am I retiring? From behind these glasses, I I've been with like this organization for 49 years. How many of you in this audience are not even 49 years old yet? I know. And I spent my whole life working for the organization, very proud of what we have done together. But like anything, there's always a time, and nobody knows when that is. And you can always say, when's the right time? I can always tell you when the wrong time is, when you look back and say, I wish I would have done it then rather than now. So this is a personal decision, thinking for a long time. And why I do it now? Because I want to do it and talking to my friends. Uh, and those who made this a special event. As you see, I don't have prepared really remarks. I've always been one that doesn't speak that way. The Lord it. gave us two eyes, one ear, two, excuse me, two eyes, way, two ears, a mouth, over half a million and a heart. And I like to speak from the heart. So that's what I want to do. A little while ago, I watched Blue Angels take off, or Blue Angels 7. The sound, the excitement, get your blood now look at the brown arch. And before you leave here, please, I ask you, before you leave here, go over and read the sign about the brown arch. About the millions of people that passed through that arch to fulfill their aviation dreams. This has become home. And I ask you to do one other thing, please. Read the inscriptions here at the special place. Those brief inscriptions tell you how much this place, this event, means to them. Oshkosh, the event, doesn't last for one week. That's 365 days a year. EAA is not an organization. It's not a business. It's a way of life. It's a culture. It's, it's personal. Each one of us lives it in a different way. It's very special to me. When I look back over the years, my dad found the organization in 1953 in our basement. I had no idea what EA was all about or where I was going. People always asked, are you going to be a pilot just like your dad? I didn't know because I, wouldn't, I wanted to be sure I wasn't going to do it because it was his interest. And eventually I came to work for EA for six months. That was over 40 years ago. And I look back, there are many things that I value out of this relationship, many things. But among those that are special, I'm going to share it with the members, is this event, this location, Oshkosh. You built it. 6,000 plus volunteers were dedicated to the mission, the mission you established. Very special. What people always ask me, what do I like the best about Oshkosh? What excites me? They always ask, what airplane? It's no airplane. It's my pride. The ability to take people around and show them what you've accomplished. I've had the pleasure of taking credit for what you've done. Yesterday, I took a gentleman around, Mr. Ito. Mr. Ito is the head of Honda Global, the number one person at Honda. As you know, the Japanese have a culture. I bowed a lot yesterday. An acknowledgement. This gentleman was, for lack of a better word, blown away by what you've accomplished. The high standards, the kindness, the way people are treated, the respect for each other. Be done. Be that up. is the here. greatest pride that I have. And Number two, uh, her my dad's here. Frank, we had know, an argument. Uh, I guess you could call it that. Process. Years ago, when it was time to move to Oshkosh, he wanted to put up a metal building. I said, let's make it something right more. This is going to be the home for aviation. This comment was, okay, if you know so much, you do it, which is called delegation of authority. 
And I'm very proud to say that we together, the EAA Aviation Center, which has become the year-round home for aviation, not just one week a year. Third, third thing is the Young Eagles. How many of you have flown Young Eagles, kids? Almost everybody here. When we set a goal of 5 million kids by 2003, nobody thought we could do it. Everybody thought it would be impossible. We did it, we thought we'd quit. But you demanded to keep it going because it was important to the organization, to sharing the gift of flight. And eventually, over 12,000 young men and women have become pilots as a result of the impact that the Eagles had in their life. And there'll be more and more to come. The list goes on and on. EAA is an outstanding organization. It has a unique role within the aviation community. There are many fine organizations that are Washington-based, advocacy-based. This is a field organization that's where the action is. You make it happen. We have a wonderful staff. They facilitate. You make it happen. Our job is to support you, the volunteers, whether it's here, chapters, our aircraft operations, the whole thing. And I want to share this with you because the thing is, I say it from my heart. I say to my heart that this organization has great opportunity going forward. The keys to this organization, please remember, you've always respected the legacy, the past. Through the airplanes and through the people that we bring here every year, the Bob Hoovers, the Burger Tans, those that have served in World War II and beyond. And even today, right over there, about 45 minutes ago, I signed a jacket. It's gonna be auctioned off at the gathering. And it was a jacket of a young man who lost both his legs in Afghanistan. He was sitting there as a Marine. He's visit here. He gave the greatest sacrifice of all, but he was so proud to be here. And those are the stories that make Oshkosh special. Those stories are important. Going forward, this organization has tremendous potential. It's had to, and it will be even greater going forward. What you have done, what you all can do for aviation, is unbelievable. I'm still going to be involved in aviation. I'm going to be involved in a lot of things. But I'll tell you what, I'm not going to miss looking at my Blackberry every morning. I'm not going to miss looking at my cell phone every two minutes. I'm not going to miss at night with it on mute, slinking around at midnight, looking down under the blanket to see what's going on so I didn't wake up my wife. You know, EAA is a 24-hour day, seven-day-a-week job. But it's not a job. It's something that's very dear to me, to my family. Since I've been married, my wife only knew one thing, EAA and air shows. This has been very special for my wife, Sharon, for my daughter, Leslie. Important part of it. Bingo. Hard landing. <laughs> but like anything else, when you want to move on, it's not so much moving on because you want to, it's because you see the fact that you have opportunities to fulfill that you haven't done yet. And that's what I want to do. I'll be 65 years old didn't work very well. I'll be 65 years old in just a few days. And there's still things I want to do and I've come to realize that I haven't, won't have a chance to do them if I don't take the time to do it. There's places I want to go, things I want to do, things I want to share. And what happens is the fact is that when you're so integrated with something, sometimes it's hard to let go. And then someday you wake up and realize that. And when you do, it feels good. Because people tell you how great it is, but until you experience it yourself, you don't know. So, this is not a press conference. This is a message to the members. We have an obviously media here. And I hope you capture the heartfelt thanks. As he comes back on the power. And sincere appreciation for the friendships and the courtesies, but more importantly, for allowing me to take some level of credit for what you've done. And I want to give the credit back to all of you for what you have done. And the challenge is to do it even better and greater than it has been done in the past. And don't ever forget what a special place this is. I know you won't, because this is the home of aviation. And it's needed now more than ever before. Somebody asked a question yesterday at the press conference about government and what's going on in government and the impact it's gonna have on aviation. If you remember that guy. Government doesn't impact aviation, you do. We can overcome them just like everything else. We want their cooperation. But we don't need their help. We want their cooperation, but we don't need their help. You, right here, make the biggest difference in aviation. And you know it. 
So, I want to say thank you. I'm excited about the future. I'm glad I did it here. I got there, let's keep telling you out. And I want to do it at this spot, because you can see, this is the EA that started. This is the brown arch that brought everybody through. And this is the standard that will keep you going long, long into the future. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you for being here at this special time. I'm speaking from the heart, and I wanted to. And I hope the message is received with sincere, sincere thoughtfulness that's expressed. Good luck this week. I'll tell you what, where I say we want to have the best Oshkosh ever, this will be. Look at those skies. Look at those airplanes. Look at that flight line. And there's the young girl. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't put it in the script. One last thought. <coughs> the week before the convention to me is more fun than the week of. To watch everybody arrive, to watch it evolve, to watch it build, and to watch the friendships. People haven't seen each other for 51 each year, 51 weeks of the year come back and act like they've never been gone. The only thing that changes is we all get a little older. That's that's the fun part. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. I look forward to success, success for EA and I look forward to continuing to see many of you in years to come. Thank you. Uh, my name is Louie Andrew. I'm the vice president of the board of EAA and the chair of the executive committee. Tom, I'd like to congratulate you on your retirement. You certainly deserve it. You worked many years and you work like seven days a week, 24 hours a day. I know that because I get the phone calls from you. Tom, Tom, Tom and I have been very close friends for many years. We work very close together. Uh, but I just want, on behalf of the board of directors and the membership of EAA, uh, Tom, I want to thank you for all your service to EAA. It's been absolutely extraordinary. Uh, it's just unbelievable that the, we have leadership from the Pobresny family, two leaders that were just unbelievable uh, in a 50 year or so period. And if it wasn't for that, many of us wonder if we'd still have general aviation in the United States. So we thank you. We thank you for what you've done for EAA, for, for what you've done for flying. Uh, just look around this great place here for Air Venture. It's just uh, really something else and uh, we just can't thank you enough. It, it can't be that successful. Well, Tom, I'm, I'm going to say to you once again, in front of everybody, what I've said many times before to you, that I am so proud to be a member of the EAA. And I want to personally thank you for your role in shaping the EAA into what it has become today. It's been an amazing experience for you and your family, but it's also been an amazing experience for all of us. So personally, thank you for that. Professionally, on behalf of all of the EAA members, thank you for what you've done for aviation. And I'm really glad that you're only a short drive and a quick phone call away. Look forward to the future. Congratulations, Tom.